日光 is a mountain area located two hours north of Tokyo. Nikko is famous for the world heritage site of Toshogu Shrine and also the beautiful nature such as Kegon Falls. Since you can access by train and get around by the local bus, it's an easy place to visit for international tourists visiting Tokyo too. Nikko is an ideal place as a one night trip or a day trip destination from Tokyo, competing with Mount Fuji and Hakone area. However, since it's a very popular site, it can be touristy and super busy. So today, I'm going on a day trip to Nikko and would like to do some hiking. Do not worry because you don't just see Japanese guy walking in the Japanese forest. I try to make this video as useful as possible. And of course, I go by train and show you how to get around Nikko and what you can expect there. By watching this video, you can see if Nikko is the place you want to visit and also you can enjoy Nikko more when you actually visit. It's before 6 a.m. and today I'm going to Nikko in a day trip. The common route to Nikko is using Tobu line from Asakusa. They have two special trains, Liberty and Spacia. You can access by JR too if you have JR pass, but Tobu line is direct from Tokyo and much faster. Now let's get ticket. I took 6 hour limited express to Nikko, which is the earliest one in the morning. I need to purchase fare and reserve seat Daiden. ticket. As for the fare, I decided to purchase Marugoto Nikko Tobu free pass. You can purchase this ticket at Asakusa Station's ticket machine, and it's pretty easy. Just make sure you have cash because I couldn't use even my Japanese credit card. The pass is 4,810 yen, and it includes round trip from Asakusa to Nikko, and unlimited bus ride up to 4 days in Nikko area. You might wonder if it's worth it. And it is. The train fare is 2,800 yen round trip from Asakusa to Nikko, and the bus ride from Nikko Station to Major Falls cost more than 2,500 yen round trip. So unless you just go to Toshogu Shrine near the station and come back, it's a must-get pass. Foreign travelers also can purchase Nikko Pass All Area which is 30 yen cheaper and you have access to some more buses and also ferries in Lake Chuzenji, which my pass doesn't have access. They're asking you to make online reservations three days in advance and you can receive it by showing your passport at Asakusa Station's tourist counter. But this counter opens at 7.20 in the morning, so if you take early morning train, you need to drop by before your travel date. But if you are taking the same route as me, I think you can get this Margoto Nikko Tobu free pass which I got. Whichever the pass, these passes not only saving money, you can also make it stress free to get on and off the bus. So now let's get on train. As for the reserved seat, you can either purchase at this machine or purchase online in advance. I called several Tobu counter for making this video to make sure what I'm saying is correct and they said it's better to make reservation as early as possible. This is a screen of online purchase. You can choose date, train, seats, and purchase by credit card. In case foreign credit card doesn't work, it might be better just to drop by Asakusa Station when you arrive in Tokyo. It's very early in the morning, so I keep making mistakes. And I got coffee at 7 The ride is about two hours, and since there are no vending machine or food service on the train, Make sure you get something before you get on the train. So I'm taking this fast Liberty train of the day. Three cars is going to Nikko and three cars are going to Kinugawa and further. There are three types of different bathrooms in one area. As the sun rises, the train is leaving Tokyo to Nikko. Shimo Imaichi Station, the trains are separate to the one going to Nikko, 
in the runway to Kimugawa and further. It was a comfortable train ride. If you are going to hiking, probably you need to pack lunch and snacks in Tokyo because after getting off Tobuniko Station, you can't find much before you get on the bus. Travelers who know Nikko runs to the bus terminal right in front of Tobuniko Station. And travelers who know a little more about Nikko runs to the JR Nikko Station which is a few minutes walk. I'll tell you why soon. So this is JR Nikko Station, and it's a first stop of the bus, which means the bus comes empty. The major bus route of Nikko is YK, which goes through all the major sites of Yumoto Onsen, which is the last stop, and C, which is the same route as YK, but only goes to Chuzenji Onsen, which is right in front of Lake Chuzenji and Kegon Fall. And now, the bus come to the Tobu Nikko station, with lots of people waiting. And not only people get on from this station couldn't get seats, dozens of passengers couldn't even get on the bus. So you don't have to run, but walking down to the JR station might help you during a busy season. The bus ride can be more than one hour on the mountain road, so it helps if you could get seat. Tobu is also trying to solve the situation, and sometimes, they run two or more buses for the one scheduled bus time. Bus can be a major headache for tourists. Literally, every stop I saw foreign passenger trying to get off has trouble about paying in cash and also trying to ask questions about destinations. Nothing wrong about asking questions. And one couple asked question, does this bus cost to fall? And the bus driver asked to fetch fall in English, but they didn't know. But having a pass I talked about earlier and understanding major bus stop you need to get off makes everything easy. So I'll explain the snapshot of the map of the Nikko first. The Tobu and JR's Nikko station is located in the town under the mountain. The world heritage Toshogu shrine is also in the lower part of Nikko. And all the other sites of Nikko are above the mountain. And the bus goes up this steep mountain road called Irohazaka. There are three major falls in Nikko. There is Kegon Falls, Muse Falls, and Yudaki Falls. The bus stops in Nikko has a number, and they read in English in automated announcement before the stop. JR's Nikko Station is number one. Tobu Nikko Station is two. Toshogu Shrine is at Nishisando Iriguchi stops, and it's number nine. Kegon Ford is in Chuzenji Onsen stops, and 26. Ryuzu Ford is 37. Yudaki Ford is 44. And the last stop, Yumoto Onsen, is 46. I hope you're coming with me, and I guess I explained everything that makes your trip easier. First, I go for the Chuzenji Onsen stop and head it to Kegon Falls. So this is the entrance to Kegon Falls, and it says Kegon Cafe, that's why it's Kengo Cafe. I paid 570 yen for elevator, and you can go down to near the fall. The water from the lake chosen drops 100 meters on the cliff and forming Kegon Falls. They say there aren't much water today, but to me it was still so beautiful. Now I'm heading to Ryuzu Fall, but next bus is not coming another 30 minutes, so I decided to take a look at Lake Chuzenji until bus time. The lake was made 20,000 years ago by the eruption of Mount Nantai. It's a symbol of Nikko, and you can take a cruise too. I 
I arrived at Liu's home. Um, where is it? I'm a little overwhelmed by the number of people, and now it's time to start hiking. I go up the side of Liu's Falls and proceed to Senjogahara, a big flat land on the mountain, and head to Yudaki Falls and Yumoto Onsen. It should be about 3 hours to 4 hours walk. This river becomes a beautiful boat after this. Lots of ducks are kind of playing. So it's very nice to looking at this amazing mountain. There's a little more space over there. This is also a nice place to eat lunch. It was a nice table with a nice moss, so I'd like to have a second lunch. Second lunch time. Now I arrived Yudaki. Some both said Yutaki. So I guess both are okay. This is the fall I like the most in Nikko. It's not as big as Kegon Falls, but it's bright and a little more gentle feeling. This fall, but not in the fall, but by the fall. Above Yutaki Falls, there is Yunoko Lake. It's a thousand four hundred seventy-eight meters above sea level, which is about four thousand eight hundred feet. Today's hiking finished at Yumoto Onsen Hot Springs, which is the other side of the lake. So now there is another route to Okuniko Nikko Yumoto Hot Springs. So I'm gonna walk there. It's it says it takes about 40 minutes. 
Let's go. Well, I arrived at uh, Yumoto Hot Spring and I think because of the hot spring sulfur, the water is very milky blue, milky green and it's so beautiful and I smell a lot of sulfur too. It's boiling hot looking. The hot spring water is coming out from here. I found a foot bus, so let's take a rest until the bus time. This is the last stop of the bus, so you can get a seat. Sorry I didn't have time to go to Toshogu Shrine today. If you are not interested in hiking, you might want to go to Toshoku Shrine, which is a world heritage. If you want a little more relaxed trip or a longer hike, I recommend you to stay overnight. There are many small hotels near Nikko Station, including budget hotels, and there are some luxury hotels like Ritz Carlton by the lake. Now it's 7 o'clock, I'm back to Tokyo. So including the ticket and the double seat, it's about $380, but uh, it's, Nikko is definitely a place it's worth visiting. Just as I showed you, there are some tips that you can enjoy more if you know, especially about the bus. I hope it became a helpful video for when you come to Japan and go to Nikko. Thank you for watching.